Welcome guys and today we will see step by step process on how to install Python on Windows 11 or Windows 10 as it's the same process. Okay, so first of all, go to this URL. I will have all the steps and all the links in the description so you can copy this from there. And as you can see initially, uh, you can just click on this button download Python 3.11.3 here from here. It's the latest version but if you want some older version you can just scroll down and choose any one of these from here so let's say we want this one which is actually the latest so you just click on download here and you scroll down and there are a lot of files here so what you want to do is you want to download one of these two so which one do you want so what you want to do is you want to check your OS bit okay so to do that uh, press Windows and R and write DXDIAG and click OK. And as you can see here in operating system, it's showing 64 bit, right? So you download the 64 bit version. Just click on this and it will be downloaded. I already have this downloaded here. So once this is downloaded, click on open file and you can choose to install uh, like customize installation but no need to do that you need to do install this because it already includes IDLE PIP and all this good stuff so IDLE is like an IDE for Python and PIP is used to install another another Python packages like TensorFlow or NumPy or uh, you know all that other good stuff so you'll also want to check this so that you can use python.exe from command line okay and click on install now hit yes let it install okay so it's showing step was successful and all this stuff right so that means it is installed but now we need to see if it is accessible from command line because if you want to run scripts mostly you'll be doing it from command line so press cmd and start and let's see if it's working or not yeah as you can see we are inside this thing now this is working because we had checked that add to path by part if you forgot to do that we will see how we can add Python to path uh, in some other tutorial so let's print and see if it's working or not hello from Python okay it is working all right peace out